Hi, and thank you for choosing Prophecy. In this video, we'll show an overview on event data formats and encoding. We'll introduce the event streaming, decoding, and storing, and we'll familiarize you with the event-based glossary. This video targets all kinds of engineers. As a prerequisite, we do suggest that you watch the introduction to event-based sensors on our YouTube channel. We'll cover the event streaming from the sensor, the main encoding formats and how to decode them, and the event storing. The decoded data can be further processed or visualized. This is, however, out of the scope for the video and will be covered in future dedicated videos. Let's start with the event streaming. Prophecy event-based sensors stream change detection events, or CD events. Each CD event contains a timestamp, the pixel's X and Y addresses within the sensor array, and the contrast detection polarity, on or off. The last two can be adapted for different types of data that will be discussed later. The sensor produces data in a proprietary stream format we call EVT. The event formats have been designed to strike a balance between compactness and robustness while taking into account constraints imposed by processing platforms. There is a trade-off between the processing resources required for decoding and the compactness of the encoded data allowing for faster data transfer. Several types of events can be transferred through the event stream. CD events including the timestamp, X, Y, and polarity. External trigger events used for synchronizing the sensor with other external devices, including the timestamp, channel ID, and the rise and fall of the signal. Monitoring events used to send periodic monitoring information or punctual alerts on system temperature, voltage, event counts, etc. Other events like IMU and stereo are possible but not necessarily implemented within the Metavision SDK. The main encoding formats used to stream events from the sensor are EVT2 as the default format for our Gen 3 sensors. EVT2.1 can be used for our Gen 4 and the IMX636 sensors. However, EVT3 is the default format for the Gen 4 and the IMX636 sensors. The last two are compressed formats and they allow more efficient data transfer. We'll give a brief overview on each of the encoding formats. EVT2 is a 32-bit format where the four most significant bits are used to define the word type that can be CD on, CD off, time base, also some special types like external trigger, and so on. 11 bits are used for the X and Y pixel address in the sensor array, and 6 bits are used for the timestamp. The sensor timestamping is of microsecond precision. The number of bits for the timestamp per event is limited, therefore we encode the full timestamp in two parts. Six least significant bits come from the CD event words, and the 28 most significant bits of the timestamp come from the special word type called time base that is sent more rarely. The main advantage of the EVT2 format is its simplicity to decode. Currently, it is mainly used on the Gen 3 sensors. EVT3 is a compressed 16-bit encoding format where the four most significant bits are used to define the word types listed in the table. Other bits are used differently depending on the word type. When decoding data in this format, You'll need to follow the order of events using a state machine. You cannot decode a randomly picked event from the stream. Also, a data drop by a decoding platform will lead to the state corruption. In the schema, we describe the principle of EVT3 encoding. The timestamp is encoded by the time low and time high, where time high encodes the 12 most significant bits of the timestamp, and time low encodes the 12 least significant bits of the timestamp. Regarding the other word types, the event address Y identifies the Y coordinate of the vector of CD events. It's followed by the vector base X, transmitting the base X coordinate and the polarity of the following vector events of the block of 32 bits encoded as 2 vect 12 and 1 vect 8 event. Vect 12 and vect 8 events encode correspondingly 12 and 8 validity bits identifying the events of the same type, timestamp, and Y coordinate. A single event in a row or a block of 32 bits is encoded with the event address X, identifying the event polarity and X coordinate. EVT3 format is designed for data compactness and to support vectorized event data. It avoids transmitting redundant data for the time, X, and Y pixel addresses. The compression ratio is better when acquiring full sensor rows of events with the same polarity. This format is mainly used for the Gen 4 and the IMX636 sensors. Here we'll show the compression ratio compared for the three main encoding formats. 
The best case is having a full sensor row of the same polarity giving a total of 1280 events, for example, for the Gen 4 sensors. EVT2 format will encode each event in 32 bits. The EVT2.1 format will encode the same events as 40 vectors, giving the compression ratio 2 bits per event. And the EVT3 format will encode the same events as 40 vectors too, but giving the impression ratio of 1.5 bits per event. In the case of having full sensor rows of events of the same polarity, the EVT3 compression ratio is high, which allows us to reduce the amount of data to transfer and increase the speed of data transfer. However, the EVT3 format is the most expensive to decode due to the state machine. The worst case is having few sparse events. For example, two events in a row that are encoded as a vector. In this case, the EVT3 compression ratio is very low. Knowing the particularity of the data encoding, the compression ratio can be improved by optimizing the setup. For example, by positioning the sensor in a way prioritizing the event distribution over sensor rows rather than the columns. Encoded events streamed by the camera can be decoded within the MetaVision SDK. The decoded events can be accessed by registering a callback. Many components of MetaVision, in addition to the streaming and decoding, work using callbacks. For this, we'll need to create a function that will be called automatically whenever a buffer of events is ready to be processed. Decoded CD events are stored using the MetaVision Event CD class with the following parameters. X and Y are used for the pixel address in the sensor array. P stores contrast detection polarity. Polarity equals 1 for on events, polarity equals 0 for off events, and T stores the timestamp. Event data can be stored in three main file formats, RAW, DAT, and HDF5. RAW files can be used to store directly encoded data output by the sensor without any decoding. In this case, the data is stored in one of the EVT encoding formats. Alternatively, you can store decoded data in a DAT file that stores events in a binary little endian format. Note that the same data saved in a DAT file takes more space on the disk. Therefore, we advise you to use the two other formats. DAT is mainly kept for compatibility with older recordings. It's also possible to store decoded data in the HDF5 file that is standard hierarchical self-describing file format known to be the ideal to store data sets. Data are encoded using lossless compression codec ECF or the Invent compression format. So now that we've given you a brief overview on the event data and the concepts including the Invent encoding formats and decoding, as well as the event streaming and storing, we've learned that the sensor streams encoded data and that this encoded data can be directly stored in raw files or decoded for further processing. The decoded data can be visualized and or processed as we show in the next video. More details can be found within our documentation and other publications. In the description below, you'll find useful links related to the topics covered in this video. We look forward to your feedback. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.